Mike, I'll call it. You know, I was listening to Arthur share, and he really made me think about something that uh, I discovered a few years ago. Somebody's already mentioned how it works. I was already sort of thinking about that. Um, talks about in how it works. No one among us has been able to maintain anything like perfect adherence to these principles. You know, and I've always believed that, uh, and he's right, Bill W. did write the book, and, and I don't believe it was written on a fifth grade level. He was very careful about the words he chose. So let's take a look at that statement. No one among us has been able to maintain anything like perfect adherence to our principles. If he meant what he was saying and every word was perfectly chosen, purposefully chosen, why didn't he say attain? No one among us has been able to attain anything like perfect adherence. Let's take a look at that. Why didn't he say attain? He said maintain. And therein lies the reason that, from my observation, only a few stick around. Because it's possible to have a good day. It's possible to get these promises of this program. You know, I, I go to 86 through 88, and it's got those questions. It says, have I been kind to others? Do I owe an apology? Do I Have I kept something to myself that I need to share? I've answered all those in the affirmative. I've been like, yeah, I did good. I mean, I would consider that to be a perfect day. I don't owe anybody in amends. I've been honest and kind and loving toward all. Maybe I've locked myself in a fucking closet, but, you know, be as it may, the fact of the matter is, is that us alcoholics, we can have that perfect day and we go, well, I guess I've done it. I don't have to try anymore. No one among us has been able to maintain anything. He didn't say we couldn't attain it. Therein lies the warning that is just replete throughout the big book. He says, if you do this, you get this. But if you stop doing this, this is also what you're going to get. Some other shit. He's saying, you're going to have good times. You're going to feel that position of neutrality. You're going to feel safe and protected and feel like the drink problem's been removed. But it's not all day, every day. You can't maintain it. You've got to keep trying. You know, and why, why did what I share have anything to do with what author shared? Because... And, and it was a long time ago, we were in meetings together, and I told him, you should share about those 300 games. People need to hear that alcoholics can accomplish things. Because we come in, I come in thinking I'm a broken motherfucker. Fuck a 300 game, I can't do shit right. 300 game is a perfect game, by the way. You can't get no better than that, by the way. So, he said he's bowled several 300 games he's been bowling for 20 years how many games not three or four thousands he didn't quit the first time he got a perfect perfect game he realized he couldn't maintain it but he kept coming back because he enjoyed it just because you get something and, and and do something well don't mean you need to stop trying i i, I think that warning and how it works is it's overlooked, and I think I think when folks go read it again, you'll never see that statement again the same. Now that I realized he could have put attain there and told me I could never have a perfect day. He could have shot me down from jump, but he didn't. He gave me the opportunity to excel and be something, but with a warning. You can't maintain it, buddy. You need to keep trying. And that's where God comes in, right? Because I'm going to have certain trials and low spots in recovery. Even our book talks about it, you know. But unless I do, like what Louis talked about, self-sacrifice and work with others and carry so freely what I've been so freely given maybe to somebody else, I'm not going to make it through those certain trials and low spots. But in total, he told me this is a way of life better than the best he'd ever known. So even in the way of life that's better than the best I've ever known, there's been certain trials and low spots. There's been days where I'm like, fuck, I didn't sign on for this. Especially early on when I come in here and I say, man, I'm thinking to myself, just getting off the sauce is going to fix everything. And then the fucking boomerangs start hitting me in the head. You know what them are. The shit I threw when I was still drinking, up uh, that court date. 
Whew. I threw it, never went. It's flying out there. I get sober, here it comes, hits me right in the fucking head. That ticket I never paid. Them fucking bills that I just put in the mark, uh, drawer marked CS for chicken shit. You know, the stuff I start having to try to uh, fix, you know. I said, well, hold on, I'm getting hit from boomerangs all around. He mentions boomerangs on page two. You can go check it out. So the thing about it is, is that if you're new, persevering through those boomerangs is, is absolutely crucial. Don't give up like so many people do. They get hit by the first one. They go, wait, I didn't sign on for this. I, I signed on for not drinking and everything being perfect. Well, you signed on for the wrong program because that ain't even reality. But I promise you that, as I did, if you persevere, if I, I persevered through those initial boomerangs, but here's the key, I need the steps. You know why I need the steps? So I don't throw new ones. Fuck, I can throw new boomerangs and be clean off the sauce. I can be cunning, baffling, and powerful and a deviant son bitch off the sauce if I don't have these steps. I can be throwing boomerangs faster than when I was throwing them out there drinking. And then I'm not representing the program to newcomers that are watching my feet, am I? And if somebody's already said it, I, it's easy to sing it in here. But I also need to bring it out there because we're in here for one hour. There's 23 other hours of the day. And, 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 I, and, I, and, I, and I'd like to think that I do represent uh, somebody of character and integrity. You know, I learned after I've been here a while that there's a difference between having character and being a fucking character. And when I got here, I was a fucking character. And somewhere along the line, after maybe one or two, three hundred games or good days, and keep it coming back and heeding the warnings and realizing certain trials and low spots are ahead, but if I persevere, a better way of life will emerge when they are overcome. Persevering through those initial boomerangs and trying not to throw new ones. Now my life is more balanced and it's just okay. And I didn't come to this meeting because I wanted to drink. I came because it's a part of my life and I know that there's newcomers that need to hear that we can have good days, we might could bowl a 300 game, but we need to keep saddling up and showing up. And if everybody in this room did this, we'll all be here next year. As a matter of fact, we'll all be meeting in Legion Field because we won't be able to hold us all. If we'll remember that simple warning, when it gets good, that's when I need to keep trying because most of us quit. I don't see a bunch of quitters in here because I know for, for me, I went to any length to get my drug of choice. So I have the energy within me to excel and do what I need to do with what I want to put my mind to do. I know I can do this. And everybody in here can do that. I need to give myself something to live up to, and I just did. I've had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps, and I'll pass. Thank you. Thank you.